So this is about four years ago after a big tournament um, down in, on Kentucky Lake. I, again, after the tournament, I was exhausted, but it was March. I knew there would be some opportunities for some pre-spawn, even some post-spawn musky fishing on one of my favorite rivers in Tennessee. So um, I was on Jackson's kayak fishing team at the time, and there was their, their marketing gal uh, wanted to catch a muskie. She'd never been for one. And I said, okay, I'm going to have to fly back home. Um, I'll, I'll use one of your kayaks. I'll bring my rod, ship my rod and reels and all my baits back. But can you bring, can you get a net? Because I can't fly with a, a musky net. You know, these things are huge. She's like, yeah, yeah, no big deal. And, and obviously a couple tools. Oh, boy. So, get, yeah, we get down there, and the net that she gives me, uh, for, for perch looks like a looks like a trout net and i'm like oh god i'm like bridget how so we, we can't we can't even get the head of a fish in this thing so i'm like okay, it's fine like i've hand landed them before i don't like to do that but i can and do it safely for them and for me so i thought um so we get out there on the river and it's it's perfect i mean like dropping barometric pressure we got a front coming in it's right during the peak major and i'm i just am feeling it working this crate this big crankbait from lunge and lures and you know, halfway through my retrieve, this giant river fish smokes it. It's probably a 46, 47 inch or real healthy fish. Get up to the boat, land it, you know, have my GoPro running. And I'm like, Bridget, I got one. I got one. It's a giant. And I'm lifting it up for the picture. Usually before I do this, I want you all wait to minute, know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to stop you. Did you use the trout net? No, no, okay. no, 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 okay. no, no. I, I said I was going to hand land them. And okay. I, I've done it before. I don't like to do that. Um, but I can't. And typically before I even lift a fish up for a picture, I remove the bait. I always remove the oh bait. Oh boy, now but, I know where it's going. But, yeah. But this, you know, lunge, the guys at Lungeon are good friends of mine. And I, it was a, it was perfect hook right beside the mouth. And I was like, I'm going to get just a quick picture on my GoPro of the, the bait in the fish's mouth. GoPro's already running. I usually just pull stills so the fish isn't out of the water for a long time. Well, I go to lift it up. And in a freak second, this fish does this head twist. And I... I'm not making this up. I don't know how it happened. One of the treble hooks was in the fish's mouth. The back big, this is not little walleye or, mu or bass trebles. These are those big 1X strong treble hooks. And one of the hooks got lodged into my left index finger about right there. Mm. And the other one, the other one on the same hook got lodged into my right index finger. So, and, and two of the bones so on both of them. You got pinned Pass down. Oh yeah. And so the fish is still flopping around. Are are tied to the fish like yeah and the fish is as the fish is flopping around both of my hands are attached to the treble hooks and my hands are bound i i can't do anything and it's shooting pain at both of my arms and i scream at bridget she comes over there who's who's no experience with musky have you and so i'm in my mind i'm like oh my god what are we gonna do here you might as well have so, a dog or a, a sheep or something there helping yes you. But like, bless her heart. She was able, I, I instructed her, you know, without, with, through the excruciating pain to get, at least get the muskie unhooked, let the muskie go. And then I'm sitting there with these two giant treble hooks buried into my hands. And you can't do the line trick because both the hooks are going opposite ways and both my hands are tied. And she FaceTimes a friend and he's like, you got to go. I've never seen anything like that. You've got to go to the emergency room. And I'm like, no, we're, we're, we're right at the start of the major. This big front's coming in. Like the fishing's incredible. We're absolutely not doing that. Yeah, so I'm not going to the hospital. Um, we didn't have anything on the boat. I didn't have any of my tools with me. So I had to instruct Bridget to take one of my, if you have the Chaos Medusa, that mm -hmm. they, so I had her take one of those hooks on there and use that hook. Now we know your secret bait, but go ahead. That is, that is one of my favorite baits, but um, I had her use that like a flay knife and take the hook and start to splice my hand on my fingers to be able to pull the hooks back. And so there's like, there's like tissue and stuff kind of on my fingers. And it, it took like 10 minutes to just keep flaying away to be able to pop both of those hooks past the barb out of both of my fingers one by one. And it was, it was some of the worst pain I've ever had, but I wrapped a piece of, I ripped a piece of my shirt, wrapped tight around my fingers tight and kept fishing.